Dr. Robert Ripley's archives. Robert O. Ripley, leave it or not. <laughs> leave it or not. The year is 1953. The hottest designer look from France isn't hitting the runways. It's on the roadways. This high-tech automobile features more than 600 pounds of electronic devices. At a touch of a button, built-in jacks actually raise the car off the ground, making changing a flat tire a breeze. The first drop of rain triggers sensors in this state-of-the-art convertible to automatically close the top and the windows. Forget to shave? No problem. This car even comes equipped with a built-in razor. Unfortunately, this designer car falls to the wayside after sticker shock from a price five times that of an ordinary car drives potential customers away. <laughs> Leave it or not. Kerry McLean built a motorized one-wheeler about the size of this tractor tire, but that wasn't good enough for Kerry. No, no, he was determined to make a bigger wheel that had bigger potential for disaster. And that, of course, rolls us right into tonight's unbelievable update. Since landing in the Ripley's record books with his one-of-a-kind monocycle, Inventor Kerry McLean has been going in circles trying to come up with a leaner, meaner road machine. Now, to try and outdo himself, Kerry has completed a bigger and much more dangerous ride that he calls the Rocket Roadster. But just taking it for a test drive could cost him his life. The Rocket Roadster is going to be capable of extreme speeds. It's a monster. It's a monster. Since he was a kid, Kerry has been creating all sorts of one-of-a-kind contraptions. Kerry's most impressive and successful ride so far is this motorized four-foot wheel that you actually sit inside of. And despite the fact that it's incredibly hard to control at high speeds, Kerry actually managed to keep it steady at 57 miles an hour, seen here setting a land speed record on Ripley's. When I broke my own record on Ripley's, believe it or not, it, uh... Everybody just loved that. But never satisfied, Kerry was driven to take his passion a step further. After a year of hard work, Kerry's new Rocket Roadster masterpiece was born. The new one is six feet high with a V8 Oldsmobile motor. It's a complete aluminum engine with two four barrels, headers, electronic ignition, special mufflers, but extremely light. But despite advances in the design, the Rocket Roadster is unproven and much more dangerous than the monocycle. With five times the power of its predecessor comes five times the risk for disaster. Test day arrives and cameras are rolling as the new rocket roadster is unloaded at the site. Carrie's family and friends look on, not really knowing what to expect. Carrie prepares for the test drive. Climbing on board, he quickly settles in. This is his big chance to set another record. Cranking over the engine, not even Carey is sure what will happen when he hits high speeds. Getting the feel of the road, it seems to be driving great. Cruising at 20 miles an hour proves easy. With confidence, Carey accelerates 40 miles an hour. 50. Carey is now hitting freeway speeds. But something's wrong. The roadster begins to wobble wildly, and Carey can't correct it. The giant wheel flips like a quarter with Kerry trapped inside. His brother Ron can only watch the horror unfold. He looked like a rag doll on it. And it just bounced and bounced and smoke is coming up. And we, you know, when it stopped, I, I actually thought he was dead. Kerry is rushed to the hospital. His injuries include a broken shoulder bone, a bruised lung, severely torn ligaments, and an extreme case of road rash. My face was rammed into the front of the machine. My, my arms were getting hit. My legs were getting hit. And it just, uh, it kept going. I was in so much pain that I couldn't even sleep. Kerry is definitely broken, but not beaten. After months of rehabilitating his body and weeks of rebuilding the Rocket Roadster, Kerry actually wants to get back on again. And even with the added safety of a stabilizer and seat belt, 
Gary's not afraid to admit that he's scared. I'm afraid to get on it, honestly. I mean, I'm afraid to do it, but I have to do it. I have to do it to get through this mentally. Knowing that he has to conquer his fear, his family and friends gather to support him. With his wipeout still fresh in the back of his mind, this is it. Gary gets up the nerve to go for it. Taking it slow at first, Kerry manages to keep everything together, though it may still be a while before he gets back enough confidence to go for any speed records. Back in the saddle and determined to keep pursuing his wild dreams, Kerry admits that he's learned a very valuable lesson. I put a higher value on my life now than I did prior, and of course I'm a lot carefuler now. There's a woman in Romania who has a talent for getting things out of people's eyes with her tongue. Take a look at this. Dust, an eyelash, dirt. When something's caught in your eye, it can be a painful situation. But if you're a resident of this small Romanian village, you could always go and see this woman. Believe it or not, she actually cleans human eyeballs by licking them with her tongue. Raising a family and living on a farm, Veronica has always had a do-it-yourself attitude when it comes to dealing with problems. So one day, when her husband had something stuck in his eye, Veronica's resourcefulness kicked in. With no tools or eye wash at her disposal, Veronica decided to use her tongue before she knew it, word spread. And now 37 years later, Veronica has licked the eyeballs of everyone in town. More than 200 people. She She the medici The method is actually quite simple. When a new patient comes in with something in their eye, Veronica just goes to work. After thoroughly cleaning her mouth, she locates the foreign object. Then she relaxes the patient and gently begins licking the entire eyeball. No, I'm fost foarte precautică la așa ceva. Nu mi-a fost kirbă. Every part is covered as Veronica scours the eye from front to back. This patient had a wooden splinter, but now it's gone thanks to Veronica's amazing eye licking technique. Veronica says that the strangest thing she has ever removed from someone's eye was an apple peel. So it was sort of like a snack at the same time. Next, a condition so rare, no one's ever survived it. A baby born with his heart literally hanging outside his body. The front of the chest is actually missing. Clinging to life, the delivery room drama to save baby Christopher. Plus, the world's most flexible man gets bent out of shape in tonight's unbelievable act. Also, we hang out with a hot dogging terrier taking over the skateboarding scene. And see how these women are using their underwear to get the ultimate self-defense protection. It's all only moments away on Ripley's. world of unbelievable animals. Most dogs love going for walks, but Nugget, a bull terrier from Australia, would rather ride. That's right. Believe it or not, Nugget is the world's only skateboard riding dog. And you won't believe what she can do. Nugget began riding all on her own when she was only a puppy. Now, when she heads out for a cruise, cars stop and heads turn. And while other dogs just manage to simply stand on their skateboards, Nugget is in total control, incredibly using two paws to push herself along. In an amazing display of form, this talented terrier actually lifts her paw, leans into a double turn, and picks up speed the whole way. 
and while Nugget can go for hours without stopping, even this skateboarding hot dog needs a rest now and then. Ripley's Unbelievable Animals. Here's the scenario. Your baby boy is born with his heart outside of his body. Doctors tell you that for the three infants born with this extremely rare condition in the last 50 years, it proved fatal every time. As a new parent, that only gives you one option. Help your kid beat the odds. When Teresa Wall went into labor, no one suspected there would be complications with her baby. In fact, I had a, an exam like four days before, and up until that point, there was still no sign that there was any trouble. But just two hours into delivery, doctors faced a life-threatening situation. To everyone's shock, the already small six-pound infant was born with a heart beating outside of his body. The front of the chest, the bony part, is actually missing. Baby Christopher, as he was named, was suffering from an extremely rare condition known as ectopia cordis. With the heart having so little protection, it's a dire situation. No baby born this way has ever survived longer than one day. Christopher's problem, I think, is the uh, worst problem that I've ever seen. Doctors try positioning the heart back inside Christopher's chest, but each time they do, the heart stops beating. Against insurmountable odds, the family refuses to give up hope. With time against them, surgeons look for a way to shield little Christopher's heart from the dangerous open air. The solution? An emergency impromptu five-hour operation attempting to stretch the skin over the heart. After the surgery, little Christopher is in critical condition, but he survives through the night. Then, incredibly, he spends the next three years in intensive care, somehow enduring a staggering 25 additional operations. He gave the doctors a run for their money because he was always pulling out the tubes and he just wanted to get on with life. Finally, Christopher is allowed to go home, just in time to celebrate his third birthday. But complications arising from the life-saving medication have left the little boy with nerve damage, causing him to be hearing impaired. And he's forced to cling to life in a nightmarish world of tubes and respirators. But by Chris's fifth birthday, there would be a glimmer of hope. Doctors conceive a radical new surgery that might free him from ventilators forever. To stabilize his breathing, they build a protective area around Chris's heart actually taking a piece of his hip bone and grafting it to his breastbone. Only time will tell if all the pieces will fuse. Just weeks after the operation, tests reveal an amazing success. The boy they were now calling the miracle child had made it. Finally free of machines for the first time, Christopher is able to run and play like a normal little boy but even the slightest bump against his fragile, unshielded heart could kill him. So he's forced to wear a small plastic chest plate to protect him from everyone's biggest fear, a potentially deadly blow to the heart. If you give a heart a thump, it can stop. Today, Christopher, now 26, is still beating the odds. And I do all different things, help people that way. And it makes me, make me feel good, and it makes me happy. He has an office job for a construction company, and although he still wears a chest plate for everyday protection, it hasn't slowed down Chris's true love, playing basketball. Once confined to a respirator, this brazen survivor now sports some pretty cool moves on the court, sometimes even daring to go bare-chested. I have a lot of experience. Next, he can stretch and squeeze himself into anything. Now, see if the most flexible man on earth can wiggle his way out of the ultimate jam in tonight's unbelievable act. 
Plus, Michael Ketman's been waiting his whole life for this moment. Can he set an all-time Ripley's record by spinning 25 basketballs at once? And what would possess someone to endure hundreds of painful piercings? Ripley's needles this woman for answers. Next.